Hello, Joji classes. Welcome all of you. Uh, I think we have completed admission of a partner, right? Uh, what is the sacrifice ratio? What is the new profit sharing ratio? And how the revaluation account, partner's capital account and the new balance sheet. All we have done in the three types of goodwill calculations also we have done, right? Now, now we are learning about retirement of a partner. Retirement of a partner. What is retirement of a partner? Retirement of a partner means he is terminating his partnership with the firm. He is no more partner of the business. That is called retirement. Reasons may be so many. Maybe due to his age or he is not interested. There are so many reasons why he do this. Okay. So now when he terminates or when he don't want to be in the partnership. So now what we have to do? First, his share of partnership might be there are three partners A, B and C as usual. They are taking 3 is to 2 is to 2 ratio. Okay, now C want to leave the business. Now only two partners left with them. So the ratio of two, this will be shared between the A and B. Right, now A, B will be receiving that part of share, isn't it? So how to find out that one? How much they are gaining now? What is their gaining ratio? Is that equally they are receiving? Or uh, is there any method to do, do that one that you will be learning? And after that, when he entered in the partnership, the ten the value of the assets. Now, whatever he brought, that he should get back, right? The person, whoever is retiring, he should receive the amount, right? And his amount of goodwill is there. So, that goodwill, what is happening with that? Where we are keeping that one? Whether will he take care or... Will he uh, give that to the leftover partners or existing partners? What, what is the procedure? Everything we are learning from these videos. Okay. So now in this video, let us learn only the ratios. So how to find out the new profit sharing ratio or what is the gain ratio. Everything we will learn in this video. Okay. Check, check. Let's start. Let's know the formula. Okay. Gain ratio. Gain ratio is equal to new ratio minus old ratio. Gain ratio is equal to new ratio minus old ratio. Let us solve with a problem then you will know more and more easily. Okay. Now let us take three names. Mm, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, common. No, P, Q, R will be there. Okay. P, Q and R. These are three partners. They were sharing in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2. Whom will remove? Q is retiring. Okay. Q is retiring. After retirement, the new Q retires. You need to know right who is retiring. Q retires. P and R. Now their new ratio is. New ratio of P and R is equal to 3 is to 2. Okay. Now they got new ratio of 3 is to 2. Now let's find out. Let's find out what is the. Let's find out what is the gain ratio of P and gain ratio of R. Okay. Now let's find out. What is the old ratio? Old ratio for 3 of them. P, how much you get? 5 divided by 10. How you will get 10? 5. P is the first one. So, first one I have taken. Divided by 10. 5 plus 3 plus 2. You got 10. Clear? Next. Q is getting 3 by 10. R is getting 2 by 10. Got it? Now, what is the new ratio? New ratio is P is getting 3 divided by 5. R he is getting 2 by 5. Now let's find out what is the gain ratio. Gain ratio. What is the formula for gain ratio? It is new ratio minus old ratio. So now let's see for P. What is new ratio? 3 by 5 minus what is the old ratio? 5 by 10. What is LCM? 5 and 10. It is 10. If you don't know how to do, again I will show you. 5 and 10. 5. 1 time and 2 time. 5 into 1 into 2, you got 10. 
Now here you have to make the denominators equal. How to make it equal? Into 2 into 2. Then it will become equal. Right? Now 3 into 2 is 6 minus 5 into 1. Here nothing is there no? 5 into 1, 5 into 1. Okay? Here 5. Then you will get 1 divided by 10. Okay? Now let us see about R. What is R's new ratio 2 divided by 5 minus what is the old ratio? Sorry, what is the sorry, what is the new ratio 2 divided by 5? Old ratio is 2 divided by 10. 2 divided by 5 and 2 divided by 10. Now let us see. LCM the same 10 here into 2 and into 2. Then you will get 4 minus 2. Then you will get 2 divided by 10. Now what is the gain ratio? The gain ratio is 1 by 10 and 2 by 10. So you can call it 1 is to 2 ratio. So here gain ratio is 1 is to 2. Clear? First write down the formula that is new ratio minus old ratio. What is the old ratio? Let us take down that one. And new ratio also you got. To find out the gain ratio, you have to subtract the both of them. Then you will get what is the gain ratio. Clear, right? Just take the screenshot and then we will go with the if any other different adjustments are there, how to solve the question. Okay? Copy it fast. Yes, here is the one more question. We are calculating what is the new profit sharing ratio in this question. Okay? First, let's see the question. What is the question given? Ravi, Shankar and Kamal, these three are partners. They were sharing in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. Okay. Now, Shankar retired. Shankar retired. And what he mentioned, his share, whatever is Shankar's share, that means this 2. This 2, it is given to or divided by Ravi and Kamal in 3 is to 2 ratio. Okay, that 2, they are shared in 3 is to 2 ratio. Now, what is the new profit sharing ratio that you have to find out? Check the question, right? First, let's see what are the shares of partners. Okay, Ravi's share was 3 by 6, Shankar 2 by 6 and Kamal, it is 1 by 6. Right? Now, what is the gain ratio, new ratio, how much they got? So, not new ratio. What was the gain ratio from Schenker? It is 3 is to 2. That means 3 by 5 and 2 by 5. Now, let us find out what is the share acquired by those partners. Okay? So, share acquired by share acquired by who is the first one? Ravi. What is the gain ratio of him? 3 by 5 into whose share he acquired? Shankar's share divided by 2 by 6. How much you will get? 6 divided by 30. Okay. Now, share acquired by Kamal. What is his new share? So, gain share 2 by 5 into from whom he got? Shankar's share 2 by 6. Then how much you got? 4 divided by 30. Now you should find out what is the new ratio, new profit sharing ratio NPSR that is equal to old ratio plus share acquired. What was their old ratio plus what is the new um, new share they acquired? That if you take, then you will find out what is the new profit sharing ratio. Now first let me find out for Ravi. Ravi, what was his old share? 3 by 6. Plus, how much he acquired? 6 by 13. Then first let us find out what is the LCM 6 and 30. 6, 1 and 5. So now 6 into 1 into 5 you will get 30. Okay, now here LCM is 30. How this will become 30? Into 5 and into 5. Now how much you will get? 3 into 5? 15 plus 6. That means 21 divided by 30. This is 21 divided by 30. Now let's see what is Kamal's share. 
Kamal's old share was 1 by 6, right? 1 by 6 plus what is his new share? 4 by 30. The same method, right? It will not change. So here into 5 and into 5. LCM is 30. Then how much you will get? 5 into 1, 5 plus 4. So that is 20, sorry, 9. 9 divided by 30. Now what is the share? 21 by 30 and 9 by 30. So now what will be the new profit sharing ratio? It is 21 is to 9. Clear? It is 21 is to 9. Is that clear? If you want to simplify that one, yes you can simplify. Again 3 table if you take you will get 7 is to 3. If you don't want to simplify you can take out like that only. Got it? Once again you cross check. First you should find out or first you write down whatever is the given data. Okay? Then we are writing that first. What was the old shape? What is the gain ratio? Right? And after that you should find out what is the share acquired by the leftover partners who are going to stay back in the business. Okay? So now they share how much they have acquired that you should find out. How will you find out? They gain ratio into what is the share of the partner who is retiring. Then you will get what is the share acquired by them. Now to find out new profit sharing ratio, you have to take the formula old ratio plus share acquired. So what was the old share of old ratio of Ravi? It is 3 by 6 plus what is the share acquired by him? 6 by 30. Then you got 21 by 30 and for common you got 9 by 30. That's all. There is nothing much. If you need more problems, yeah, please mention in the comment section. We will solve more and more problem on these ratios itself. So next video, let me start up with revaluation account, partner's capital account, treatment of goodwill and balance sheet. Okay, the bigger questions are coming. Before that, about admission of a partner, we got some hidden answers in the table, right? How many of you done that? Please go back if you didn't do. It is there in the description. Please go back and please find out the answers before I reveal them itself. Okay. How many answers you couldn't find? Just mention them in the comment section. If you have any more suggestions regarding uh, these fund accounts or quiz something like that. Please feel free and mention. Let's try to work out on them. Okay. So now what you will do? Please like it, share it and subscribe it. There is a bell icon aside. Please ring it once. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.